What's good, guys? The Novice. Alex Ryder, Season 1. I just finished watching it. Guys? Hmm. Overall, mm, I did not like this series up until the very end. Tell you why. Here's how I summarise this season. The future seems more promising than the present, for the most part. Let me explain what I mean by that. If you see my pilot review, you guys know that I like the serious. I like the serious tone of the show. I like the actor who played Alex. There's certain things I didn't like. I did like. Um, I didn't hate, but I just didn't, wasn't a big fan of the actor who played Jack. For American accent was bad. I like little things here and there, but for the most part, I liked. The, it was a strong intro. And then I started to watch the the end, the rest of the series, and I was just underwhelmed because. I felt like they were prioritizing. I realized that I wanted the more traditional, the straight in your face spy flick, like a Skyfall, like a Casino Royale, Daniel Craig thing. We just have like priority with charismatic villains, with uh, investigating, sneaking around, spy missions, building gadgets, which you do see a li you do see in the series. You see Alex, and I like that. Here's a positive. Here's a positive. I like that they don't feel the need to explain everything with him. He just knows how to do certain things. And I'll get to more with him. But the fact is, is that they didn't reinforce those skills enough for me in this series. And they didn't reinforce like the kind of story that I wanted at the forefront enough to make me feel like this series was consistent. So it was more or less just like, Episode one, I like, and, and then maybe like from episode five, six, seven, eight ish, eight. <laughs> you know, it was like that. But I'll tell you what I did like um, to to stay positive. First and foremost, Yasin, Yasin Grigorovich. I just leave it there. I don't want to spoil anything of him. It, I like him that much. Like I don't even want to give my impression because I might infect your mind and give you a false impression that maybe you won't have with your perspective. So if you've seen the series, tell me down below what you thought of Yasin. And um, there's something... Oh, uh, I'll get to it. I'm excited for season two. <laughs> Who else did I... Oh, what else did I like that was a positive? Oh yeah, I said it before in my pilot review. Uh, I like the aesthetic, the the look of the show. It reminds I don't know what it reminds me of. <laughs> Dare I say it's maybe it's just the look of it. But Mr. Robot came to mind a, a tiny bit. Um, obviously the political thrillers and so on that inspire stuff like Alex Rider. But that that was what I liked the most. Just like the pilot review. And I think that's also a flaw of this series in a lot of ways and something that holds it back from being as good as it can be. Let me explain. Jack, the side characters, Jack and uh, Tom, understand the writer, you can tell, the writers, they're trying to make you feel more emotion behind the series, behind Alex, behind his circle around him and his support group and all other characters beyond just being an action flick, being a spy uh, thriller. Because they want you, it's a TV show, they want you to be in for the long run, right? If you're rooting for these characters. But I don't like the idea, on the other hand, of purely just, you know, I don't like emotion. I like players playing the game. Even mix, I, I, I compare it to like Peaky Blinders, Crime, crime dramas like Breaking Bad, where, or even Game of Thrones. Play that you play the Game of Thrones to win. That's a famous quote from season one from Cersei, right? If you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. She's she's conversating with Ned Stark. There's a reason why Ned Stark died. Ned Stark is all about honor and so on. That don't mm, that don't play, especially in the time he was living in. I, I couldn't really stand to be honest. Like the amount of input they had in the series, Jack and Tom. Um, I felt like they could have prioritized more of the critical spy work 
of the investigating and not just with Alex, with MI6 itself, they could have also prioritized this idea, which is kind of subtle, which is a plus. And could have prioritized um, his kind of distrust and the fact that there's no true like white coats um, versus red coats. There's no true good guys and bad guys. What else? I'm going to be looking at my notes a little bit as well. What else did I like about this series? I'm trying to think. Oh, you know what? Okay. Something happens later on in this series, which I, I couldn't stop thinking, where are they going with this? Without getting into spoilers, it's a boss battle at the end. It was actually interesting. It actually gave me a little bit Black Mirror vibes. It was a bit like, oh, wow. Okay. Black, Black Mirror, a kind of thriller to degree horror-ish vibes but that's me like stretching it to the degree i felt like the pro a big a, every positive in the series I always go back to something that i was like um i'm more i'm more critical of because i still feel like this show was made like season two is probably going to be amazing based on certain things that are left hanging in this show but it's at the expense of season one Yasin is great to me. One of the few like thing great things. The cut his presence, you just know death is coming. But he could have, like maybe, his aloofness and the fact that he felt like a ghost, is in his favor, because when he wasn't around, I missed him. I missed him. When certain people, when um, when MI six outside of like stuff to do with Alex's mission. When Crawley and Miss Jones and Smithers and Mr. Blunt, when they were doing their work, like MI6 investigation, um, I was invested. But when they weren't doing it, I was very self-aware. And it just felt like they were building so much character with people that I didn't need character to be built with. You are there as an anchor. But I don't need to be reminded that you're around, that this anchor's around, which is Jack, Tom, uh, is another side character, um, who I, I did like her input, actually, in the series. I believe her name is Kyra. I liked her. And then there's one last thing that I really liked about the series, but I can't spoil it, because I want you to find out. Uh, one word, two syllables. It's my favourite Alex Ryder book. And... They have confirmed that it's going to arrive in season two. I just can't say what it is. I want you to, to know. Last, I'm going to give my finishing thoughts, guys, and whether I'd recommend the series. So my finishing thoughts on the series is that as far as front and center, Alex Ryder, played by Otto Farrett, I believe his name is, as far as he is concerned, he's a good actor. This show seems well made. And I'm, and I'm excited for the possibilities of other young adult uh, adaptations out there. I was a big fan of Percy Jackson, even more so than Alex Ryder growing up. Uh, I was a fan of Cherub growing up. Um, I could see Percy Jackson more so being an animated series, but that's another topic. This has paved the way for more of that to be done. It makes people believe that you can invest, as long as you have um, people with good vision. So shout out to the writers. As long as you have, and the producers, as long as you have good vision, you can make good adaptation of young adult fiction. So that, that just through acting alone, I'm convinced this is Alex Ryder. This is, he, he would want to play this role. I like him. What else? Um, and then apart from that, yeah, just the writing just let me down. It wasn't consistent. Um, Alex... Miss Jones, like Miss Jones seemed too nice to me at times. I understand maybe she's meant to have like a certain relationship with Alex and with other characters, but I need to be reminded that you on behalf of MI6, you and Alan Bunt, you and Crowley can't be trusted and it felt too simplistic at times. So that let me down. So many other things, the villains in this series outside of Yasin let me down. Yeah, I was just, I was underwhelmed for the most part until the end 
like the end the last three two and a half episodes was what grits me back in but it was at the expense of the whole season it was unfortunate unfortunately um guys please tell me down below yeah those are my finishing thoughts i am really excited for season two though that's what's keeping me hooked guys please tell me down below what did you think of this season did you like it did you have similar issues with me um you know what you can get into spoilers but just be just write spoilers with your thoughts because i'm not giving spoilers i want people to watch it and make up their own minds yeah it just i was just underwhelming for me for the most part and i'm sorry guys i wasn't like a fan of this show so go if you if you like this video check check it out check out my other videos i did a pilot review um please like this it will help out with the algorithm and also just check out my channel see see what you like signing off guys salute